Hey guys, so today I'll be filming a, another makeup haul. Um, I placed an order with Sephora and Morphe. Um, Morphe one just because I need some more brushes because people will even ask me to do their makeup. So I figured I'd invest in another set of brushes along with some falses and some other things. So I so figured I'd go ahead and share that with you guys. So for Morphe, the first thing I got is the Morphe Mini Beauty Sponges. Um, it comes with three little sponges. I thought these would be good for when I'm doing under my eye, especially when I do my eye makeup first and then I do my foundation and concealer. That way I can really get in there and still blend out my concealer. Because um, sometimes my bigger ones, like, here's my normal size Morphe one. It just doesn't really get in there, especially if I do my eye makeup first. So that's why. Yeah, really small. I mean, here's like my thumb and it's, yeah, <laughs> they're really small. Um, the next thing I got from Morphe is four of the Slayla lashes because these are my favorite. Um, I wear these all the time. I'm wearing them today. I love them. I think they're really flattering. Um, yeah, these are bomb. They're only $10 and they last me like a long time. I had a bunch more, but um, I've been doing people's makeup and they've wanted the Slayla lashes. So I was like, okay, just pay me like what I pay for them and then I'll just order me some more. So yeah, went ahead and ordered me, re replace what I had. The next thing I got from Morphe is a Morphe uh, M439. I use this all the time for my foundation already. I, um, oh, I didn't have another one of these for when I was doing other people's makeup and sometimes it's a pain to have to like wash it all the time. Obviously I wash it when I do other people's makeup, you know what I mean? But having my own personal that I only wash like once a week and then if someone else wants it done, I have to wash it like, sometimes it was like twice in a day. So it was just kind of, it was kind of annoying sometimes. So I was like, I'll just get another. So I got another one to do people's makeup. So if you are one of those people who want me to do your makeup, I'm good now. So hit me up. Um, the next brush I got is the Morphe E22 brush. And this is from the Elite uh, number two collection. This is the only brush I have now from the second Elite collection. It feels really nice. It feels just like their normal one. Um, I have, this is the normal E22. And so here's the old one and then this is the new one. But yeah, so I got one of those. I also got another Morphe M441 brush because I use this all the time. Again, I only had like two of my favorite blending brushes, so I was like, I need to get some more. So, I got more. The next brush I got is the Morphe M433, another brush that I love to use. I know I used these today, like the other ones I had in my eye look, so it just really makes things easy to blend out. And the last brush that I got is the Morphe M411 brush. Um, this is what it looks like. I don't think I had this one actually before, so I just got a new one to try out. But that is it for the brushes. The last thing I got from Morphe is their 35D palette. So I'm just gonna take the sleeve off and put that in the trash. But so this is the 35D palette. I was really loving um, this sparkle shade and this one. I really like shimmery colors. Um, they have like a normal like shimmer looking ones like above it. Those ones just looked like extra sparkly to me and yeah I love sparkles and anything that shines so I had to get it. I really like the darker colors. I have their three of their other palettes, the 350, 35S, and 35F I believe. But I was like I need some darker colors for fall and yeah that's all I got. Alright, so that is everything from Morphe, um, from Sephora. I'll put up a separate video, but I got the Becca 
Cosmetics new called it Rose Quartz highlighter. This is what it looks like. The packaging is to die for. I think it's super, super cute. Um, in my other video, I swatched it and I compare it to the, um, I think it's called Starlight from Makeup Geek and Kathleen Lights, that last collab. So if you want to know about that, check out that video because it will be up before this one. So yeah. All right. The next thing I got from Sephora is another um, NARS creamy concealer. I have it already in the shade Custard, but I needed a lighter one also. So I went ahead and got it in the shade Chantilly. Light one, I don't know. Chantilly? Am I like blonde? says light one chantilly okay so yeah i used to love and be all about the urban decay naked weightless skin concealer until i tried these out urban decay is not number two these are my number one they're a little bit more pricey but i think it's really worth it i've been wearing them lately and i think my skin looks more just together all right and the next things that I got are all, is it called Eve St. Laurent? It's like Y-V-E-S. I don't know how to pronounce this. I think it's Eve's. If anyone knows, please let me know so I don't keep butchering it. But anyways, I got more of these Latte Tin Oil. I don't know that, but it's these things I have the first one it's like a nude one um this one is in the shade I rose you I'm gonna go ahead and just swatch this on the back of my hand only has like a white color it like they smell like watermelon and put on your lips really glossy obviously and it will leave like once it dries down it leaves a little bit of a light tint I actually wore this one on my lips a lot earlier today but it left the lip stain color so this is what it looks like after the color like gloss and everything wears off so this is what it looks like on my hand you can see it just has like a nice light pink um yeah the next shade that i got is in the shade it's called cherry my cherry um this is that packaging and I'll put that next to the other one. So this one looks a little bit more uh, red next to the other one. And the last shade that I got is called Pink About Me. So, go ahead and put that one, it's like looking purple, next to this others. So it's probably hard to see because once it's on your lips, it dries down to like a really nice, pretty color. I don't know how to explain it. They all smell like watermelon, they smell amazing. I love applying my lips, they feel great afterwards. They're a little pricey, I don't remember how much but I think they're really every penny. It was enough, I like them enough that I ended up getting three more shades and not just having just the one. So, oh yeah, and it sure does. It's a pink about me, well I just realized it's on the bottom. Anyways, that's that shade. So, so the three. You just leave like a nice hint of color, so I really like them for that. So that is everything I got. And the last thing I got is another pair of lashes to try out. My boyfriend actually found these at Target. And he just like found like you need to try these. So he said they remind him of my sleigh list, which they do, honestly. He was pretty spot on. So yeah, this is everything for my haul. I'm sure it was long because I talk a lot and I'm slow. So I'm sorry. But that is everything. So yeah, 
hope you guys enjoy it and if you did please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you aren't already and i will see you on my next video bye guys